Hey guys, it's Ignacio, the co-founder of UPT Chain, and today I'm going to show you a prompt chain that I actually used a lot manually back in the days. That is actually the use case that made me came up with the idea for UPT Chain. So today I'm going to show you this two prompts that are for curse generation. And for that, I'm going to start with a question that is, have you ever wanted to create a car and find it like completely overwhelming? Yeah, me too. So that's why I'm doing it with AI. So as you can see here, I'm going to show you a prompt chain that is able to create a full blown course with all the things you're looking here on the screen. And then a variation of that prompt chain that is going to auto decide for you and that you can let run like automatically as a auto GPT. So let's go for it. Okay, so now we're into chat GPT and the only thing I gotta do is open the sidebar with GPT chain. And here I have the two chains I'm going to show you. That is the course generator and the auto course loop. And in this case, I'm going to do our first run of this course generator so we can train this conversation on how to do a course. And then we're going to run the automatic version that auto decides and auto completes by itself. So in this case, I'm going to explain this chain. It basically in the first note explains or designs the course and creates a table of contents. Then it generates the full course from module one to six, then the conclusion, and then some extras like roadmap, tips, prompts, more thing, and then some marketing material that is the SEO guide and the landing page. And well, you can expand on this chain with a lot and lot more prompts but this is the one I'm going to share with you that works pretty nice. So in this case, the only thing I got to do is set up my variables and the only variable I have is the course topic. So I'm going to set it up for two iterations. The first one is going to create a course on the on prompt chaining and the second one on AI SaaS. So yeah, that's it. And I just got to press here and it's going to run by itself. So yeah, guys, I'm just going to wait. Maybe I'll be here, maybe I'll go. Uh, I gotta do some laundry, so I gotta do that. Um, yeah, you'll see. I'm back. So as you can see, here we have the full iteration for the prompt chaining 101 course. In this case, here is the AI SAS already uh, ready to be made, but I decided to stop first in GPT chain and then here in chat GPT because I want to go to the next chain that is the automatic one. But in this case, Let's review our results. So I'm going to expand the chat GPT. And as you can see, well, it's a long conversation. So it took a while. It took like, like about 10 minutes of just generating. But here, as you can see, it has the full course. So for example, is here prompt chaining 101. Here we have all the planning for the course, the different modules. Here you can see it's doing them, uh, module two. Um, yeah, basically what we saw, it's been done and it's a completely streamlined process in the aspect of generating the text, because as you can see here, I even have the copywriting for a landing page. So it's basically incredible. So now I'm going to go and show you the next variation that is the automatic loop. It basically works very well in conversations that are already trained to do on a specific thing. And obviously the prompt chain is uh, designed to be to do that a specific thing, but to, to be able also to auto decide and auto execute by its own. So uh, yeah, basically that's it. And in this case, let's open again 
GPT chain and let's run this course loop iteration. Okay, I'm back. Basically, we are where we left before explaining the results of the first chain. And now I want to show you the results of the auto loop, but I had a little problem here uh, with the video. I wasn't uh, I wasn't happy with how it was going, the video specifically, but the output is really good. So let's show it again. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to edit this conversation. So here where the new iteration was supposed to run. So I'm going to put um, uh, listen to the following instructions. Okay, so that's it. And the conversation is supposed to reset. Here is the uh, prompt chain in course that generated first. And now the conversation is reset. So I'm going to go back to the extension, set the conversation, and see how that's where I left this. is a little hack. Uh, you can do it with the ChatGPT uh, desktop app. And here we are, just where it left. So we're going to run this uh, auto loop uh, chain now. So let's see what it decides. And yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna left it where it was and continue with it. Okay, guys, basically it finished and uh, I paused it because it was taking too long. Um, but here you can see it was starting the next loop. Uh, that is this first prompt. Um, well, basically generated all the, in this case, let's see, AI SAS 101 course. And yeah, you can see, I mean, let's review the modules, for example, Let's go in order. So this one is for what is an AI size, AI SAS and why it matters. Uh, validating your AI SAS and so on. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty good information. You can complement for your studies, for creating a course that you can complement with more stuff. So you can provide uh, real value. And yeah, this is uh, the demo for the course generator. For GPT chain and I hope you're using GPT chain and if anything just reach out we'll gladly create the chains for you see you guys